Sophie here and it is Friday Favourites and today I am showing you my favourite BB creams, tinted moisturisers, concealers, multi-use sticks for the busy woman and also that work really well for mature skin. I have been planning this video for so long only because I've been on the hunt for the perfect quick fix for my skin because I'm really busy, I know you are too. And when I wake up in the morning and I rush out to do anything, go to the gym or go to work or whatever, I don't have the time or the desire to put on a full face of makeup as in foundation and eyeshadow and all of that business. I just don't. But I do want to look sort of bright and smooth out a few of those imperfections. And um, so I, for that reason, have been on the hunt for really the most perfect base that I can find that does everything that I need it to do that's multi-use. So I need SPF, I need um, anti-aging ingredients, I need moisturize, moisturizer, and I need a cover as well because I do need a little bit more coverage. You know, I'm in my 50s, I do have, you know, a little few age spots, uh, quite a few imperfections. And um, so I just want to smooth all that out. Um, easier said than done, I'm going to say, because I have tried so many different products over the years and so many brands, and it's hard to find one that does all of those things really effectively, but I have two today that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you my two favorite bases, which are multi-use for all the cover correction, moisturization, yada yada. So two. I'm going to show you two concealers that I really like, and I'm going to show you two multi-use sticks that I really like for chick, uh, chicks, cheeks, and, uh, and lips. So anyway, all this is really good stuff and do stay along till the end because I'm gonna try and quickly go through this. As people say, I talk way too much on my video, so I'm gonna quickly go through it. And, and, and I know you're gonna love every single product that I'm gonna show you, that I'm gonna show you. So let's start with the base. So assuming that I've woken up in the morning, had a shower, applied my vitamin C serum that I apply every single morning. I have a brilliant DIY serum, by the way. It's a DIY face and body serum with ferulic acid. You can save money by making that serum. I'll link to it right underneath this video. So I'll have my serum on. Then I might do a little bit of moisturizer, a little bit of eye cream, and now it is time. I need that base and I need to put it on quickly because I don't want endless layers of everything. So the first one that I found is called Impeccable Skin by Suntegrity. Now, for those of you who follow me, you'll know that I have been a fan of Suntegrity for quite a few years. Uh, Trisha, who is the formulator and owner of the company, the lovely Trisha, um, is known or was known originally for her sunscreens and for her excellent BB creams. So the BB creams did all of the, you know, correctional, a little bit of coverage, lots of sunscreen, etc., etc. But she's now just come out with impeccable skin. They literally can't keep it in the store. Oh, by the way, for all the products today, I went to one of my favorite beauty stores in Los Angeles called Credo Beauty. And they said that they, they were literally out of this. Trisha had to send it to me. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why I love it. And I'm gonna tell you why I love it better than the CC cream, the BB cream that, uh, that she does also. So number one, it has a matte finish. So for me, some of the BB creams and CC creams and anything with a sunscreen in can be sometimes a little too on the dewy side, if not a little bit too oily for me. Um, so it is the perfect matte. It's not too matte, because if something is too matte for my skin, because I have a slightly more mature skin, I, it's gonna, it just does, it looks dry on my skin. So for some reason, Trish, by the way, you've got the formulation so perfect of this because it's matte, I don't need powder after it, but it's also highly moisturizing. It has an SPF of 
30. Um, it also contains quite a lot of really potent um, anti-aging ingredients such as peptides and peptides really do a good job of you know firming and smooth it's sort of tightening your skin so I, I love a peptide. Um, I think there are four different shades, maybe five. I should have looked that up below the video, but of course I'll link to every single product underneath the video. Um, but here's the thing about the shades that I like about Impeccable Skin, is that each shade is very forgiving. And uh, Trisha sent me samples of all the different shades. I am somewhere between a sand and a buff probably buff if I don't have any kind of sun on my skin and sand if it's in the summer and I have a bit, tiny bit of a tan. Um, but when I tested both of those shades, it really, once I had sort of blended it into my skin, I realized that each one is super duper forgiving. It's not like a huge jump from one shade to the next. And that's good when you're buying um, something like this because you don't want to order it online and go, oh, wait a minute, that's like so wrong for my skin. Um, also, you know, you can you can do a little tester if you want. Um, and so that's it. And it just goes on so beautifully. Um, love it. A really easy to use tube that when you're traveling, it won't sort of go everywhere. Uh, as I said, it's thick and creamy and you feel like you're getting this incredible moisture. But then you're also uh, getting a lovely matte finish. So Trisha! I'm in love with this new product. I really, really am. It is worth every single penny and I'm wearing it right now. Now, the second one, because I wanted to give you an option and it is, I'm gonna be honest, it is a very difficult toss up for me personally between these two that I'm showing you, is by Well People. And I've showed this before because I love it so much. And it is the Biotint Multi-Action Face Moisturizer. So by the way, on a side, note realize that when you're dealing with the sort of product that we're talking about now a multi-use product that has SPF some brands call it a tinted moisturizer some brands call it a BB cream some brands call it a they're calling it a moisturizer um, it, so there's different names for for a multi-use product that you're going to use in place of a foundation oh the really important thing I forgot to mention about this is the coverage is so good um, and, and it's way, way better than anything in the Suntegrity line. And one of the things that I personally was looking for was really good coverage. I wanted medium kind of plus coverage because as I said earlier, if I'm going to use just one product, I really do want to be able to smooth out those little imperfections and just be done with it. Um, and so I do personally, I like good coverage and a lot of tinted moisturizers and a lot of BB creams either have really insufficient coverage for me or like way too much. They're almost kind of like chalky looking. And these two that I'm showing you today have the perfect coverage. So on to well people, I have covered it before, but I just want to show you one more time uh, because I think it's, it's, it's definitely apples for apples with, with this one. Um, so Biotint, um, it's creamy. They have four different shades. Um, the shades are a little bit more, they, each shade is a little bit more different than Suntegrity. So for instance, when I jumped from uh, number two, I think they're one, two, three, four. So when I went from a two to a three, it was a huge difference. And there's no way that I could use the three right now when I haven't got it. I don't, I'll probably only be able to use it when I have a tan, uh, which I don't often have on my face because I try to stay out of the sun. Um, lots of anti-aging ingredients in it. At Credo, the makeup artist was saying to me that oftentimes they'll use this in place of foundation, literally, if they're doing a makeover. Um, this one has a little tiny bit more coverage, a tad more. And I think the Well People is a little less matte. It gives you a little bit more of a dewy finish. So that would be the difference between the two of those. Good thing 
thing about well people is that if you live near uh, large Whole Foods, they're in Whole Foods. They're actually in quite a lot of stores, big stores now. I want to say they're maybe in some of the sort of bigger flagship drug stores. But all this to say that if you're near a Whole Foods, go in and try on the different shades and obviously always try it on the area of your neck. And speaking of which, on the neck, I need to bring these products all the way down to kind of my necklace line, if not sort of a little bit on my chest uh, for two reasons. One, because I need the SPF and two, because I have quite a lot of sort of imperfections, calling them imperfections, you know, whatever they are, marks or little freckles or sunspots or whatever on my neck and my decollete and I don't want my face looking completely different to my neck. Um, all right, so we've got our base on, we're thrilled with it, whether you use the Well People link underneath, whether you use the Impeccable Skin, you will be thrilled. I can literally guarantee that you'll be thrilled with either one of those products. Now, let's talk about a concealer, because I think if you're in a rush, you put on that, and then you might get in a magnifying mirror and go, wait a minute, that I've broken out here, I've got dark circles under my eyes, there's a few little areas of my face where I just want to touch up with a little little bit more coverage plus you can take it with you for the day um, and so there are two that I love one is by well people and the other is by vapor um, so vapor organic beauty now I want to say something about the vapor is that all the products by vapor are non uh, I can never say this word. They won't clog your pores. Somebody would just jump in and say this, right? I'm dyslexic when it comes to non-comogenic or whatever it is. Anyway, they won't clog your pores. And uh, one of the uh, girls who works in Credo explained to me she has acne and so she uses all the vapor products. And I'm going to show you another vapor product because they will not clog your pores. She loves them. So that was, I, I wanted to be sure I said that. Um, so the diff these are two amazing concealers. Both are very blendable. So when you're thinking about a concealer, you really want to think of how blendable it is because there's nothing worse than a concealer that you, is, you can see that you, you're wearing concealer. Now, my daughter, who's 17, has uh, sort of slightly dark circles under her eyes, not through lack of sleep. It's just sort of genetically she does. And she loves the well people for an under eye concealer. Um, it goes on uh, like a, I'd say it, I, it goes on like a thick foundation. That's why it's so blendable and it gives you wonderful, wonderful coverage. It really is a, a, a wonderful product. Um, I personally, like, and so if you have dark circles, you might like that. I personally like the Vapor because it's a stick. And for me, that's really, really easy because I don't even need to put it on the back of my hand. I can put it straight on my face. I can dot it under my eyes or I sometimes just do the little corners of the nose or if I have a little uh, sort of certain spot. Right now, by the way, I'm shooting this video on an HD camera so it picks up everything and I have no diva lights, no softening lighting, nothing. I'm literally in bright sunny daylight. So you probably see a few of those issues I'm talking about on my skin. Um, and I haven't done the concealer. All I did before I did this video was I put, did the, um, f the uh, base the CC cream or the, you know, the Impeccable Skin or the Well People Biotint Moisturizer. Um, I did a kind of tiny little bit, bit of both. And the cheek, which I'm going to show you now, the multi-use stick. So those are the concealers. Now let's talk about the multi-use stick. Who doesn't love a multi-use stick? I love them when I'm in a hurry. And there are two that I'm going to show you. So the first is by Well People. And the second is by Vapor. And they are both really absolutely excellent at doing the job. Uh, the colors on these are slightly different. That's why I primarily why I wanted to get two different ones to show you. Um, Vapor has, Vapor Organic Beauty has more, it has different shades, a much greater variety of shades for you to check out. So that may be what you want to look at. And you can look on their website or if a store carries them. Um, and so uh, uh, let's see what that is. I'll, I'll link, oh, it's called Aura. I'll link uh, to the actual, you know, one that I've got here. But so, so pretty. Uh, it's a very, very, very light 
uh, goes on very lightly, which is a godsend. Because if you're anything like me and you have a stick that goes on too heavy, you start sort of looking like a clown if you're not really blending it well. Um, so beautiful, remember, uh, vapor does not clog your pores. So we are loving that for acneic skin. And if you have acneic skin, you might want to check out their foundations as well. Uh, because they're pretty amazing. And then the Well People one is called, uh, they always have such cool names. Oh, the Nudist Multi-Use Cream. So it's a cream stick. And I like it because it's a little chubby stick, easy to pop in your purse. Um, really, really, really pretty shades. They have, I think, two shades. And their shades work really, really well for cheek, which is what I'm wearing right now, and lip, same thing, I'm wearing this right now by Well People. Um, so that, my friends, is it. I wanted to get to that for my Friday Favourites video, and I wanted to share those products with you, because I've had a few questions about them, and I think many of you are really like me, that you are just so busy, and that you haven't got time to, um, to start to, you know, every day at least, to do that full kind of YouTuber video, uh, makeup kind of thing that my daughter does. I'm like, oh my God, I'm, she's so good at doing her makeup because of all you amazing YouTubers out there that teach our lovely girls how to do their makeup beautifully. Well, that's not me. I, it's just not my bag, to, obviously, to do that kind of thing. But I do like to share with you uh, products that can just sort of help you and make your day a little bit quicker easier, more efficient, and to show you products that, you know, if you follow me and you know my channel, that it's all about for me, you know, beauty that is clean beauty, that doesn't contain artificial fragrances, and which is one of the worst, by the way, um, ingredients in your beauty products, because it's that it really can affect your hormonal balance, uh, disrupts your end endocrine system, and, and so many people go, oh, it's parabens or whatever. Yes, it's parabens, but it's very much artificial fragrances fragrance and so I like to look for products that really don't use any of those products that are either you know cheap fillers or products that could you know harm your health in any way but more importantly because it doesn't just stop there for me I think what I really pride myself on doing only because I selfishly need the products for myself is to find products that really perform well and really truly work because I'm not going to buy a green beauty product that doesn't you know, do anything or give me the coverage and put the performance that I really need in a product for a woman of my age. So that's it from me. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you particularly want me to test out for my Friday favorites for one of my episodes. It could be eyeshadow palettes. It could be, I don't just do makeup and skincare for my Friday favorites. I also do food and all sorts of other products. So if there's any suggestions and you're like, oh, Sophie, try out this or that or whatever, please let me know. And also in the comment thread, let me know if there are any, or let us know as a community, if there are any um, concealers or particular creams, um, BB creams, uh, tinted moisturizers and whatnot that you really like, because I'm sure I I'm missing some that might be pretty amazing. And I'll see you for another Friday Favorites.